Congolium Underfloor is the all-in-one underlayment system for floating installations of Dura Ceramic, Dura Ceramic Options, and Dura Plank. It provides an economical solution for installing over a variety of subfloor surfaces. Wood, concrete, just think, now one underlayment covers it all. Underfloor comes in six foot wide rolls and since it's a floating underlayment it needs no special tools or fasteners so it's quick and easy to install. All of the specific underfloor substrate recommendations are in the Dura Ceramic Installation and Technical Guide available at no charge from your local Congolium sales representative. Congolium underfloor can help you solve a lot of subfloor problems but you have to observe some basic guidelines when installing underfloor. Make sure the surface over which the underfloor is being used is smooth and flat. Sand any rough surfaces or uneven joints. Any cracks in concrete, lightweight gypsum topping or wood, panel joints wider than 1 8 inch should be filled with a latex Portland cement patching compound. If you're using underfloor over ceramic tile, marble, or granite, be sure to patch the grout joints to level the surface. Once the substrate is prepared, you can begin to put down the underfloor. Keep the sheets tightly rolled around a tube with the vinyl side out. If you distort the roll, it will take time for the underfloor to lay flat. You must acclimate the room and the underfloor prior to installation. Always condition the room and the products at a consistent temperature between 65 degrees and 85 degrees Fahrenheit for 48 hours prior to, during, and 48 hours after installation. For the best finished appearance, be sure to undercut door casings. Taking into account the layout of the room, determine the best way to lay out the underfloor sheets. Here's a helpful tip for you. Before you unroll the underfloor, determine where you will locate the seams in the underfloor, depending on which Dura product you are installing. Measure and determine the center line of the finished product. If you're installing Dura Ceramic or Dura Ceramic Options, Make sure the seams in the underfloor fall at least four inches away from the joints in the finished floor tile. When installing Duraplank, lay out underfloor with the seams running perpendicular to the long dimension of the planks and make sure the staggered end joints fall at least two inches away from the underfloor seams. Roll out the first sheet of underfloor with the vinyl side down. This breaks the old rule of installing sheets shiny side up. Trim the sheet to fit, leaving about a quarter inch space between the edge of the sheet and the wall. Unroll the next sheet and butt the edge lightly against the first sheet. If you have to adjust the second and subsequent sheets to make sure the seam location is correct, you can overlap the sheets and double cut a new seam in the desired location. Simply use a straight edge and utility knife to cut the seam. Fasten the sheets using a two inch wide clear thin packaging tape. Apply the tape centered over the seam and make sure it's flat by rolling it with a seam roller. Don't use thick tapes like masking or duct tape. They could telegraph through the finished floor. In no time at all, you're ready to install the flooring over underfloor. Chalk your starting lines on the underfloor and you're ready to spread adhesive. Apply the DS100 adhesive using the correct trowel notch. If you see some slight growth bubbles in the underfloor, don't worry. This can happen and will not affect the finished flooring. When the adhesive has dried clear and tacky, you can begin to install the product following the installation recommendations. 
make sure to leave a gap of 1 8 inch to 1 quarter inch around the perimeter. When you install the trim and transition moldings, make sure they do not bind or restrict the finished flooring from moving during seasonal changes in the subfloor. Seal all areas like tubs and showers that might be exposed to surface spills with a silicone caulking. Repairs are very simple over underfloor installations. To replace a damaged duraplank, first warm the plank with a heat gun. Using a sharp utility knife, cut through a corner of the plank, taking care not to cut into the underfloor. Lift the end of the plank and continue heating. As you provide sufficient heat, the plank releases from the adhesive. Lift out the entire plank and warm the exposed adhesive. Install the new plank. Set it firmly into place with a hand roller. Here you have a perfect repair. This procedure also applies to ungrouted duraceramic tile repairs. To replace a damaged duraceramic tile in a grouted installation, heat and lightly score the grout around the tile without cutting into the underfloor. Carefully lift out the damaged tile. Lay in the replacement tile and roll it. Apply grout to finish the repair. So that's all it takes for our installation. It's quick, it's affordable, it's easy, it's underfloor.